In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities, and by his bruises we are healed. This is Holy Week Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Siamme, a selection of Don Bosco. Of all kingdoms, of all thrones, May God's word be our life. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And laid behind the stone You live to die Rejected and alone Like a rose Trampled on the ground It is Wednesday of the Holy Week of the 5th of April 2023 and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Chacha Nyaigoti Bichanga from Garissa, Kenya, celebrating his birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Justin Tondwe from Mangochi, Malawi, celebrating his birthday today, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Chesko Msaga, celebrating his priestly anniversary today, a precious blood missionary working in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Let us pray. O God, who willed your son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attend the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Third song of the servant of the Lord. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 50 verses 4 to 9a. The Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught. That I may know how to sustain with the word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakens. He wakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting, for the Lord God helped me. Therefore, I have not been confounded. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 69, verses 8 to 10, 21 to 22, verse 31, and 33 to 34. Response is taken from Psalm 69, verse 14cb. And the response is, In your great mercy answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. It is for you that I suffer towns, that shame has covered my face. To my own kin I have become an outcast, a stranger to the children of my mother. Zeal for your house consumes me, and the towns against you fall on me. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Towns have broken my heart. Here I am in anguish. I looked for solace, but there was none. 
For consolers, not one could I find. For food they gave me go, in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Then I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his own in their chains. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Gospel Acclamation Glory and praise to you, Christ. Hail, our King, you alone have had mercy on our failings. Glory and praise to you, Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 26, verse 14 to 25. At that time, one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What will you give me if I deliver him to you? And they paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where will you have us prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to such a one, and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he sat at table with the twelve disciples. And as they were eating, he said, Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful, and began to say to him one after another, Is it I, Lord? He answered, he who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With this devotion, we have come to the end of the remote preparations for the Paschal Mysteries. Come tomorrow, we are going to be in the Triduum, and the devotion we are going to receive tomorrow will not be the morning devotion, it will be the devotion for the evening Mass. But it will come in the morning, definitely, as usual, as we receive all the other devotions, so that those who would want to prepare for the Triduum can prepare themselves well, having listened to the preaching in the morning for the evening. And as we come to the end of our remote preparations for the Paschal Mysteries, we are reminded of the fact that life is not easy. There are betrayals. There are people who always act against us. And there are times that we even act against ourselves, self-betrayal. We want to say then, how do we overcome this? By clinging to God. The third song of the servant of Yahweh, which we listened to on Sunday as well, tells us about this man who is a mysterious figure, said to have been around the time when the people were still in exile in Babylon, and he was raised to speak on behalf of the weary, to speak on behalf of those who feel betrayed. But he himself started 
feeling betrayed. He started feeling alone, but he never felt a victim because he saw in that experience something that strengthened him. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not react. You know how we allow others to betray us and we betray ourselves is when we start reacting to things. Many of us have gotten into self-betrayal because we have allowed ourselves to be switched on and off like machines. You are no longer yourself. You have sold yourself to others. And this is what happens. This is what happens in our lives. Many of us are living very superficial, very artificial lives. Why? Because we are living the lives of other people. We are no longer ourselves. We have already died. Because every time I wake up is to find out who is doing what against me. Who is reacting to what I am saying so that I also react. I am a machine to be switched on and off. Look at this servant of Yahweh. He never allowed himself to be a machine. He never allowed himself to be switched on and off because he never accepted self-betrayal. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. I don't know if you are with me on the same page. You are not living your life. You are living the life of other people. You are making other people control you. Come back to yourself. Don't betray yourself. Sometimes we just say yes, yes to everything and anything. And we have no ability to say no to something. That is self-betrayal. You have betrayed yourself. You don't have principles of your own and anything that comes your way you will take because you are not standing on anything. If you stand for something, you can't fall for anything. No, you will not fall. You will not be shaken. You will not be confounded. For the Lord God helps me, says the servant of Yahweh. Therefore, I have not been confounded. Therefore, I have not set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. God who is near you will fight your battles, will fight for you. You don't have to betray yourself. Remain yourself. Say no to something when you are able to say no. Say yes to only things that build you up, not things that destroy you. Do not live your life wanting to please other people. Then you are betraying yourself. Jesus is betrayed in the gospel passage of today and we can see the anguish in him. We can see the loneliness in him. And I suppose even as he was eating something at table, he felt betrayed. He felt alone. You might be like Jesus, feeling alone in the midst of the crowd, surrounded by friends who pretend to care, but they are planning all sorts of evil against you. Remember this, you are not alone. God is going to fight your battles. There may be a lot of people who are already getting money, making more friends just to destroy you. But they will not manage. They're not going to manage. God is working out something. God is going to take care of you. He will protect you. Cling to him and all your enemies will stumble and fall. We give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Wednesday to you, and I wish you well as we enter into the Holy Triduum tomorrow. Thanks be to God.